Hello everyone. In this quick tutorial you're going to learn a little bit about how to find images that you can use, so I mean copy free, or copyright free, for your projects. So let's start at Google, Google Images, because that's where most people start. So what you need to know is the regular Google search just by typing in a keyword, say for example wheelchair, and then searching for images that come up on wheelchair is really not going to be good enough because you don't know if you can actually use those images if they're safe for you to use. So what you need to do is you need to find the advanced search option. And by looking right over here off to the right you will see a gear shift. So click on that gear and you see it says advanced search. Now you'll see that the word the keyword you're looking for is here. You can put in more than one word. You can ask it to have the exact phrase or if you've got several words, all of these words or you can narrow down your search here, but you're going to come down to the bottom here and you're going to select usage rights. So over here it's got not filtered by license, but you don't want that. You want something that is free to use or to share. So free to use is what's important to you. So click on free to use, click on advanced search and see what comes up. So let's say that I look around and this brings me to Photopedia. This brings me to Geography. This brings me to Flickr. Okay, so let's click on that. And here we'll see it brings us to Flickr. Now, that's great because that's the other site that I wanted to talk to you about. So once you get to Flickr, how do you know if you can use that picture? Well, if you look down here, it says license and this these are the different license licenses that this person who took this picture is uh, putting on their on their photo so you can click on that some rights reserved and you can read what those say this means essentially that little I means that attribution you have to say whose picture it is and that means that you have to quote you have to just like you do in a direct quote you this is you have to say this is Vincent J Brown's picture so you can copy paste that from his Flickr photo stream but now how do you get this picture well come into actions right up to actions and click that little down uh, the arrow for the, the drop down menu click on view all sizes and here you can select which size you want let's take a medium size or whichever size you want. The original was a bit big. Let's say we want this medium size. Now we have to remember this. So I would just copy paste this so I can remember this. And then you just click download. So say save image as and the image will download down into your computer and then you can tell it where you want it to go. So once we are on Flickr, here's another way that you can find uh, photos that you find are, are interesting right from Flickr and not from Google. So again, you're going to need to do an advanced search. So click on search and it will bring you to a page where you can see advanced search right under here. It's a little bit tricky to find advanced search. And again, just like you saw on the Google um, image page, we're going to put in our keyword and we can search if you have a particular contact you want to search or the commons these are also images that are free to use but come right down here and click on this and click on search and it will return to you only images with um, Creative Commons license that means free to use so click on this one here I think this is really cool and you can double check here you see yes you can use it and it tells you this is deadly deadly Tedley's photo stream and so that's who you have to credit when you use that picture you can also email it uh, and you can paste it into your blog by copying this code if you've got a blog and you want to do that or on the wiki you can do that too so I hope this helps and you get great photos